Jason Goes to Hell, Final Friday. This one does not have a lot of Jason. I suppose that could be classified as a spoiler, but I really don't want anyone to watch this thinking that there's going to be a ton. You also could argue that it's not completely a slasher, or not only. But anyway, Creighton Duke is a serial killer bounty hunter. Yes, he's also the movie's resident cool black guy, and he is pretty badass. He hunts Jason. He um, knows what it takes to take Jason down, and I'm not going to divulge the details because it isn't revealed until halfway through the movie or so. The movie starts with Jason actually getting taken down, and then it continues in an interesting manner. He starts to take over other people's bodies and use them to do the killing for him. This one explains the mythology, and overall probably has more plot than any of the others. In fact, possibly more than the first eight put together. Anyone who knows me will tell you that I don't want horror phenomena to be explained. I think they should remain mysteries. But if they were going to explain it, and with nine movies, they were going to, this is a pretty good attempt at that. I found it quite interesting, and I found myself caring about the characters, even though there are, again, a couple of really obnoxious ones. The effects are great. There is only really one exception, and that is the lighting stuff. You know, it's like early animation. It really didn't look that different from just flat-out 2D animation, you know, the you know, Disney's animated classics and the like, and when applied to, you know, live-action footage, it did not look good. But other than that, everything looks great. The makeup, the everything. The acting is okay. It's still not, you know, fantastic, but like I said, the, some of the characters you actually find yourself liking. Creighton Duke, the bounty hunter, is used well. You don't see him all the time, and you know, what he does makes an effort, makes an, has an effect, has an impact. So, he remains really cool throughout the film. And that's pretty much what there is to say about this one. So, if you want the same thing, as you've gotten in the other Friday the 13th movies, then this isn't it. If you want an explanation, you know, some mythology to it, which we really haven't particularly had since, like, the second movie, I guess, this is a pretty good take on it, and it's a very entertaining horror mystery slasher flick. So yeah, that was my spoiler for review of Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.